hello friend welcome back in this tutorial i will show you how you can automate the shadow dom nested shadow dom which are inside cross origin iframe using selenium with java if you do it like uh, normally without using selector sub it might take hours of time and in some cases it becomes like really really complicated to automate and figure out how many iframes how many shadow doms are there but with the help of selector sub you can do it in just a sec just few seconds let me show you how quickly you can do it so let me just open a page where we have the cross origin iframe with the shadow dom scenario so for this one like handling the cross origin iframe with the help of selector sub i have already created tutorial I will quickly show you again like uh, I will show with the selector sub pro it is the same features are available in free version as well you can do it with the free version so here I clicked on the selector sub pro suppose this is the page and we will inspect let's say we want to click on this yes in this form okay so what we will do select this inspector here and you click on this and when you hover on this element you see that it clearly tell you that this element is inside iframe and there on the left top you see that red color tooltip it also shows you that this element inside cross origin iframe also in selector sub you can read it alert it is inside cross origin iframe so you will have to take care while switching inside iframe so as we are working here with the selenium java so there is no difference handling the cross origin iframe and the normal iframe same source iframe you can directly just switch inside the iframe so here simply you can copy this piece of code this piece of iframe xpath and then xpath for that particular element and you can write this script and run it so here what we can do like we can directly copy this and in fact like you can uh, make it with the code so here you see that you can select driver dot find element here and you see that here we got this let me just inspect that element again suppose this one no we want to click on yes so here you got the iframe xpath you need not to manually figure out where is that iframe and all so first we will uh, we need to switch inside iframe right so for that we need the iframe element web element iframe suppose let's say we write it iframe and paste it here so we got the iframe element and now we will switch inside iframe driver dot find element y dot x path and here we will paste the x path of that element and in fact we need not to manually type this sorry we need to switch inside iframe so i need to type sorry this command driver dot switch to dot frame and here enter that now we are inside the iframe we need to click on this yes so you see that here we got the x path for this element so simply copy this but here we will notice that one thing class this thing is pretty much uh, looks like this class looks like dynamic which might get changed on the uh, like if we refresh the page so what we will do let's close this code here and uh, here what we will do let's try to write our own x path you can also generate the xpath with uh, like automatically without class here there is an attribute filter but for now let's copy this and in place of this we can paste this and here we make it dot click okay now let us run this code and we'll see that how if it is able to switch inside this cross origin iframe and able to click on there or not So it's opening the browser. Then after loading the browser, this uh, after loading this web application, it we have added a five second wait time. We always recommend whenever there is a uh, iframe, you always put some wait time so that frame get loaded successfully. So you see that it has clicked on yes. So this is working fine, perfect. Now let us stop this so we have seen that how we can handle the cross origin iframe with the help of selector sub you can simply copy paste the code you need not to worry you need not to check in the dom where is the iframe what is the iframe xpath and all you directly get that okay 
now let us jump into the more complex scenario which is the shadow dom inside cross origin iframe okay so you see that here just after this form here is a this like uh, this page here so if we try to inspect any element here like shop men's outwear ladies outwear this these uh, items here like cart so let us inspect suppose this one ladies outwear so if you see that this element is inside cross origin iframe that red color tooltip it is showing at the border because from here it used to start then if you hover on this it also tells us that this element is inside shadow dom now click on this so now if you see observe that in selector sub it used to show you that this element is inside shadow dom, shadow dom. and when you inspect the element it also letting us know that this shadow dom is inside that iframe cross origin iframe but in selector sub right now it is not showing the iframe details because when shadow dom is inside iframe from shadow dom we cannot go upwards if there is an iframe so for that region it cannot traverse basically like in we, we cannot traverse through the code through javascript code in the extension for that iframe from shadow dom so that's the region that it just showing the shadow dom information but that is more than sufficient i will show you how we can get the iframe information because first we need to switch inside the iframe then we can access this shadow dom please try to understand the logic that iframe is outside then inside that iframe shadow dom here i am showing the example with single shadow dom i will also show with multiple shadow dom so first here we need to switch inside iframe then get the access of shadow dom host of the shadow dom then perform the action on the element okay so we got the shadow dom details fine let us let me just for a second close this and open the dev tools here and open selector sub pro here in dev tools now what we will do here we will inspect this ladies outwear here and scroll in the dom and see where is that iframe here is the iframe okay from side panel we got to know that this element is inside cross origin iframe now you click on this iframe element here simply and you will get the x path for that iframe so we got the x path for iframe from here but if you inspect the element ladies outwear which is inside basically cross origin iframe so here it will not support because cross origin iframe selector sub supports only in the side panel so whenever you have to get x path or selectors or any information about an element which is inside cross origin for that you have to open side panel only because this is a really really complex scenario and a very unique scenario shadow dom inside cross origin that's the reason we have to play at both the places so to get the x path of that iframe i have opened it here now copy this x path or you can just turn on this code you will get this so what we need to do we need to switch inside this so basically we have already written this piece of code what i will do i will paste that iframe x path sorry this complete command here now we got the iframe element we are switching inside that iframe and now let me just remove this okay so we have switched inside this iframe now let us just open this part and inspect that ladies outwear and here you see that we got this complete code you can simply copy this and paste it here now you need to just import these classes which will be there of course in your code already and you see you will notice that it will like when we will run the code it will click on this ladies outwear okay let us see what will happen when we run this code is there any error it should get imported yeah so that's fine everything is fine 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 yep yeah. so this is fine now let us run the code
and it should be able to switch inside the iframe and then it should be able to perform the action. So this is cross origin iframe. Okay. let's see what happened here okay still running the code okay i haven't performed any action here so let me just add the click here sorry so we need to click on that i didn't add it that click stop this and let us execute this again then now it should switch inside iframe and it should be able to perform the click on ladies outfit so you can see that it has performed click on this ladies outfit to check that you can see let us scroll this and you see that the outfit is coming this page is coming and if i have to show it here like right now this page is there so if we click on this it should show that page which we were seeing there this one so this is perfectly working fine so simply if i repeat again what we did we switched inside iframe this way like we got the xpath of iframe opening the selectors up here in dev tools and then we inspected that element it is out here and simply copy pasted this code from here in our script and it worked and then whatever like in this element whatever action we want to perform we have to just add that dot click or whatever you want to do if you want to get the code in cypress playwright you can select the option here and you will get the code according okay now let us see the more complex scenario which is nested cytodom okay so like in case of nested cytodom we need to see that if the element is inside multiple shadow dom so let us inspect this element or any element first this one okay here if you see that this shop these are inside single shadow dom but if we inspect this icon here basket icon this is inside multiple shadow dom you see that two nested cells and this is again inside that same iframe so iframe again i'm not showing if you want to see you can see that in the dev tools so this is the code we are getting we can simply copy this code come back here and in place of this you can just replace this code delete this code and paste it and here in this icon we want to click let's say so first we are switching inside iframe and then we are performing the action on that basket for that we are there, there are two shadow dom so first shadow dom and then we are accessing getting the access of second shadow dom then we are performing the action now let us run this code so this it should work here now let us observe here so it switched inside iframe and it performed click on that cart if you want to see just scroll and see that it is showing your cart is empty if you want to see it here like if we click on that that same page it will show you see that it is showing here so this way you can simply perform the action any action on the shadow dom elements which are inside cross origin iframe with the help of selector sub just in few seconds to get the iframe x path for the cross origin in this case you need to open dev tools because there is no element 
uh, like here because uh, we could have got it from here as well the iframe uh, x bar region because here none of the element in this page was outside the shadow dom so that's the reason we had to open dev tools and get the x bar from there otherwise you just inspect any element like this if there will be any element because here you see that all the elements which are inside this cross origin are inside shadow dom that's the reason we were not able to get the x bar of cross origin iframe from the side panel otherwise we could have got it like this you see that here we are inspecting getting the x bar here itself we need not to open there but because this is a really complex scenario where there is no element which is outside shadow dom every inside this iframe everything is inside shadow dom so that's the reason we had to get the x path of iframe from there and then we have uh, got all the details about the shadow dom elements from here okay hope this video you found useful please do like and share with your friends those who need this it is really really important because whoever get this scenario they takes a lot of time weeks of time and in some cases people are not able to automate this i have also created a separate tutorial with where i have shown how you can do the same thing how you can handle this scenario with selenium with python so if you need uh, that code like selenium with python you can follow that video if you are working with selenium with java then you can use this video i hope you find it useful thank you thank you so much please like this video and subscribe to the channel also check out these awesome informative videos and keep watching more videos on selector sub channel thank you